in that regard, but, you know, his whole aim or focus there on the change. Marcus, you mentioned being a senior earlier. There aren't a whole lot of seniors that, that lead their teams in scoring at, at the top levels. There's so many younger guys that are doing it. Does that come with any more pressure or maybe any more burden for you to be sort of that guy? For I mean, not really. I haven't even thought about that uh, this season so far. Um, you know, I, I did lead this team in scoring last year and yeah. the year before, uh, and it just kind of happens that way this year. As you see tonight, we have guys that are talented scorers. Bryce shoots above 50. He shoots 50 some percent from the floor. He's prolific. Uh, he just got to stay out of foul trouble, and he'll probably pass me in, in points per game. Um, but I just try to stay aggressive because I know my team kind of feeds off me in that regard. So I, I don't pay attention to it a whole lot. I just know that when I'm in attack mode, our team is better. You mentioned foul trouble issue with Bryce. Yeah. Why, why do you think that continues to be an issue? It's a matter of. I mean, I'm not going to say he gets picked on or anything, but a lot of times he, um, well, there are times where he's not in the right spot defensively, and that can lead to, you know, having to commit a foul. If you're late on a rotation and you're under the basket, you either give up a layup or you foul. Uh, and sometimes he gets them on illegal screens and stuff that can easily be uh, cleaned up, but, you know, he just... He's competitive and he's got that fire, so sometimes that leads him to, you know, be a little overzealous and, and commit fouls. But I think he's at least aware of it this year, and he's trying to try, he's trying his best to stay on the court because we're so much better with him on the court. So I guess we'll just see how he does. And everything. You seem to take it really hard the other night in Texas. Yeah, that game, where was upset. Yeah, quiet. yeah, and he believes he can help us, you know, and, and we all know he can help us. You know, he's. Like I said, he's probably the most efficient and the easiest way for us to score is throwing the ball. Uh, he's terrific on the block, and you know he's getting better defensively. So we're we're a better team with him on the court, and he knows that him being sideline on foul trouble, you know, it doesn't allow him to be on the court. And I think that's why he was so frustrated because he knew he could help us if he would have been out there. How do things change without Kennedy? Pretty all of us are all in terms of rotations, and how does that change the offense? No, well, I mean, Joel will get more minutes, and Bryce and Isaiah will play more minutes together. You know, they haven't always played a lot of minutes together. Uh, and then, obviously, we might have to go small at times with Justin or Theo at the four uh, to try to use our, our speed and our you know, length and quickness as an advantage. So it'll just it shakes up everything because of how important Kennedy is to our team. But in the same way that I was out in the first six games, or, um, six games, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, we're just gonna have to cover up and everyone will step up a little bit. How much? How much do you mentor Joel? I mean, not as much as I did when I was out. Uh, now that I'm out there, and he's he's more comfortable. He's clearly more confident, in taking shots when he's open and attacking the basket. So, um, my my role in that regard is kind of over. I think he's kind of assumed the role of, of point guard, and he's getting the leadership stuff down. But I'll still help him, you know, make calls on offense and defense, and, and just try to keep his confidence up because I know when he's a confident player, he plays better. Um, but he's doing a great job, and, and you know I think he's grown a lot and can handle a lot more than he had his freshman year. Your vantage point is different since you got back on the court playing in the games. How much has he benefited from you being out there? Because I don't think it's coincidental that his shot's going down more, a little bit more relaxed out there. He says he's seeing things, but it's a little slower for him. Yeah, I mean, another another creator on the court helps. You know, I, I either create a lot of shots for myself or for other people. Um, and I also just alleviate pressure from him because I can handle the ball. You know, if I get it, I'll push the ball on the break. And, uh, you know, it's just having our team that we practice with all summer and played with uh, in practice, having that group back on the court probably makes it easier for him. And everyone kind of gets shifted back to their normal role where they're comfortable and where they get their most reps in practice. So, um, you know, it's good to see him playing this well. And I don't know if it has anything to do with me coming back or if that's coincidence, but uh, it's good to have him out there as my running mate. I mean, he says it's more comfortable for him. Yeah, uh, He doesn't good. have to do as much. Yeah. Thanks. Okay.